More deep roads. Why did we agree to do this again? Because I love trouble, and you think Hawk is cute. That wasn't a serious question, was it, Blondie? He is pretty cute. This isn't so bad, Blondie. You could be losing more coin to the elf in a game of wicked grace. Uh, at this rate, I'll still be paying him back when I'm dead. One good thing about being trapped in an ancient underground prison. Not a lot of Templars. There's a bright side to everything. You should set up shop. It's no worse than your current digs. Good point. Just wait. I could be quite comfortable here, actually. Clean the taint off the floor. Maybe hang a few pictures. It might even be a step up from Darktown. I've never argued against you being in prison. Hmm. At least this one was built by mages. A new base of operations for Kirkwall's Mage Underground. It's got potential. I've tried to forget about this side of myself. Justice is so strong. Sometimes the wardens seem insignificant. But seeing that poor bastard brings it all back. The darkspawn taint. The call of the archdemon. It's inside me. As much a part of me as justice. Ooh, baby. Tell me more. Maybe there's a cure. Never bothered me before. You should find someone else, love. You don't want all the ugliness I'm going to bring into your life. I'll take it under advisement. Nobody's perfect. Not a chance. There's a lot of ugliness in my life. You should stay away from me. I've got to hand it to you, Blondie. You'll make that work every time. Have you heard from Carver at all? Not a word. I think it hurts my mother the most. She never quite believed me saying that Carver didn't die. Are they allowed to write? I thought the Grey Wardens had a thing against friends and family. It's not easy, being a warden. Sometimes it's better to cut all ties with your old life. When I joined, all I wanted was an escape from the circle. But it's more. It's a calling. It really is. Carver's the kind of man who can find fulfillment in battling the Darkspawn. He'll do fine. Have you heard from Bethany recently? Not a word. I think that hurt Mother the most. It would have been nice to get one letter before she died. Bethany will find something to be proud of. It suits her more than she thinks. I always thought it would be fun to be a pirate. More fun than being a moody, possessed vagrant in the sewers, you don't say. More fun than starting a revolution? I'm not sure I'd call that fun. When I was stuck at Vigil's Keep, I dreamed of stealing a ship and sailing to exotic lands. When I left the Wardens, I tried to plant a rumour that that's where I went. Even mention your name a few times. When I left the Wardens, I swore I'd never spend another minute in the deep roads. Left sounds like it was a mutual arrangement. Fine. I ran away. What's it to you? Ran away from the circle? Ran away from the wardens? It sounds like a habit. Running away from your family? Straight to Daenerys? Running away from Daenerys? Straight to Hawk? Maybe we're more alike than you think. I've always said so. So, Templar. Is the Order everything you wished for? Piffed any good mages lately? That's what you do now, right? It must wear on you, given your lineage. No wonder you're quiet. Be grateful. You're free because you know my brother. Don't push it. Oh, yes, sir. Please, sir. Ah, oh, why can't Templars and mages bond over a common love of women's clothing? For some reason, my brother cares for you. Be thankful. Understood? Both of you, shut it. Helmet and Staffy should learn to get along. Both of you, please. You've taken to life as a warden. 
I figured you for the type. I'm not the coward you are, if that's what you mean. The plight of every mage is my burden. You'd think with your lineage you'd understand. Your whining ranks a little lower than the end of the bloody world. But do go on. And on. Is it wrong to want a world worth saving? I want some peace and quiet. How about that? Both good points, but not now, okay? Less complaining, more survive the dungeoning. You know, we're a long way from the circle. Down here, a mage could easily slip her leash. I'm not leashed, Anders. I allowed this. You gave up, you mean. Threw your life away. I accept what I am and act accordingly. I can pretend to be miserable if you want, but I'm not. You don't understand the stakes. Well, it's a good thing you're here to carry the burden. It must be hard, being around so many Darkspawn, after what happened to your sister. I'd happily spend the rest of my life doing nothing but making them pay. For everything. Have you thought about joining the Grey Wardens? They've got a whole club for people just like you. If I did join the Wardens, you can be bloody sure I wouldn't run away to go and live in some sewer. But we'd all be so sorry to see you go. You really believe that Magisters trespassing in the Maker City made the first Darkspawn? I suppose you have another theory? The Darkspawn live in the Deep Roads. They respond to the call of the Old Gods. Why would we think they have anything to do with humans? Or the Maker at all? Before Tevinter there were no Darkspawn. There are written records. Do you think it's just coincidence they appeared when they did? I don't think it's a coincidence that the people the Chantry blames are the same ones they're trying to oppress. I think you're getting it backwards. Were you trying to look at my grimoire the other day? Me? What? No. When? At my clinic, while I was talking to Hawk. I saw you looking in one of my books. You know those are private. I know, that's why I... Oh, fine, I admit it. I was hoping you'd have, um... Dirty spells. Dirty spells? You know, to um make things more exciting. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. That's my girl. More exciting? For you and Hawk? Uh, stop. Just stop right there. I don't think I want to know. So, a giant magical prison. You should invest in one of these for Kirkwall, Aveline. What are you on about? Your guardsmen have their hands full chasing down blood mages and abominations. I thought you might like somewhere to put them. The redeemable go to the circle. The rest? Go in the ground. Maybe they can design it to shock anyone who says something bad about you. How's this going to fit into your grand tale, Varric? Hawk and friends walked for a really long time in nasty tunnels that smelled like nug shit. Well, I'd probably say something like, Then, around the corner, we caught the sound of an entirely new type of darkspawn. You had to ask, Blondie. What now, mage? Nothing. Right. Any second, I'll surrender to the almighty power of God, Captain, and enslave all mages. What are you talking about? Look out. Authority. Ooh. Shut up. I'm starting to see why you left the Grey Wardens. I wouldn't want to spend my whole life surrounded by Darkspawn. That wasn't it. I meant it when I joined the Wardens. I expected it to be for life. If I wasn't prepared for that, I would never have gone through the joining. So what happened? Justice. Apparently, even the Taint Brigade draws the line at abominations. Don't you hate the deep roads? And look, here you are anyway. Did you have to remind me? I was so close to forgetting. If it makes you feel better, you can always blame Hawk. Believe me, I do. You speak of disliking the deep roads a great deal. 
Why? Besides the obvious, you mean. It's a dangerous place, but less so for a Grey Warden. Darkspawn this, Darkspawn that. Taint, 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 taint. After a while, you just get so tired of it, you know? I do now. Do you ever regret leaving the Grey Wardens? Not for a moment. But I come here and see what's festering right beneath our feet, while we do nothing to fight it. You had the chance to face it, elbow deep in the blood and the taint and... You make it sound like so much fun. Back in the deep roads. Like it or not, hmm? Like it or not. Must be hard, after walking away from the Wardens. Not everyone gets that choice. You know what I chose. Or what chose me. Do you really hate the deep roads? Anybody with sense would hate them. They're a darkspawn-filled pit that goes on forever. The dwarves still live in the deep roads, don't they? It can't be all bad. The dwarves are crazy. He's got a point there, Daisy. Have you considered joining the Grey Wardens? They'd be happy to satisfy this inexplicable need you have to visit the deep roads every few years. Sorry. I don't have a map of this part of the deep roads. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Anders? Anders. Maker. It's like he doesn't even hear me. Anders? Shit. It's this place, isn't it? It's driving him mad. Come on, Blondie. You're strong enough to overcome this. The Abomination's hearing voices. How unexpected. No! Get out of my head! Lovely. A mage gone mad is all we need right now. Anders, it's going to be all right. We'll help you through this. We made a mistake bringing him down here. Stop! Just make him stop talking. Make him stop. Hang in there, Blondie. We're going to get you out of this. We can't have him fall apart here. It's not safe. Easy. Hold it together. Deep breaths. He'll kill us all if he allows this insanity to take him. We have to find a way to calm him down. I hope I can hold against him. Against them both. I'm not losing you to this. I refuse. Would distracting you with a kiss help? No? I'm here. Hold on to that. Think happy thoughts. Raindrops, roses, kittens. We're going to get you through this, Anders. I really need to stay out of the deep roads. While we're stuck down here, Meredith could be burning down the circle. I told the Warden Commander in Amaranthi not to make deals with a Darkspawn. I guess these free marchers needed the same advice. The Carter should know better than to come after you. Why can't we ever hunt down normal criminals? The kind that don't worship demons. That's Legion of the Dead armor. It's a dwarven tradition. Anyone accused of a crime can clear their name if they die fighting Darkspawn. Surprisingly, they bump into Grey Wardens a lot. I had a friend from the Legion once. A girl named Sigrun. Not nearly as dour as you'd expect. I met a girl from the Legion once. Can't remember her name. Seemed awfully good-natured about the whole thing. May they never learn what I've done here. It was important to him that you never think of him as a blood mage. I think he really tried. So, Fenris, we, uh, we haven't spoken since. You wish to do this here? In front of everyone? Kinky. That wasn't... Never mind. Not my first choice, no. Nor mine. I'm sorry. How is it you get into these situations so often? What do you mean? Hmm. Attacked by dwarves, approached by strangers, stumbling upon ancient riddles. Madness. It's a gift. <laughs>
Well, I think you should return it. I don't know why it's like that. Fate, I suppose. Fate is a word for the maker's poor sense of humor. It does feel like some unseen force is manipulating my fate. It's so wonderful having my personal business as someone else's sport. Thank you for asking me to come along again, Hawk. Why wouldn't I? More the merrier. Is there a reason I wouldn't? I just am pleased to see you. That's all. Smooth. <laughs> oh, Fenris. <laughs> And I thought I was bad at it. Oh, I think it's sweet. Why are the wardens always up to mischief? I know, right? You'd think they had nothing better to do. It's in their blood, I suppose. They've no blight to combat now. This keeps them busy. You must hate the Darkspawn after what they did to your home. And to Bethany. There was nothing we could do back then. Mother is still sick with grief. Well, I hate them a lot. I never knew her. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Donick tells me you've spoken of children. You two talk too much. <laughs> I picture a red-headed brood, each able to lift a cow. <laughs> If you also picture Donick carrying them to term and pushing them out of his ass, then I'm all for it. Does the Chantry in Tevinter teach the same story of how the Darkspawn came to be? Slaves are not regaled with a Tevinter version of the Chant of Light. If I were to guess, however, it goes something like, And lo, the greatest of magisters ventured into the Maker's City. And to reward them for their courage, he created Darkspawn as a scourge against their enemies. You don't think they take responsibility for their actions? Responsibility is the only thing Magisters don't take. Still not an abomination, I see. Well, let's take a look. Not insane. Not deformed. Not attacking everyone. No, I think I'm still good. Such a relief. Cheer up, Fenris. This isn't so bad. We're in a black pit full of evil. How can you imagine this isn't so bad? It's not going to rain, and there's almost no chance of being attacked by bears. And we put our lives in your hands. Astonishing. Oh, I know. It surprises me, too. <laughs> You, Elf, are one lucky son of a bitch. Is this about the Diamondback game? Again? I've never seen anyone bluff like that in my life. I was sure you had a handful of nothing. <laughs> so was I. You're the one who pointed out I had four serpents. See? Luckiest bastard I've ever seen. You're on edge. It's that obvious. With you? Never. But down here, it was a smart guess. Yes. Thieves, blind worshippers, and something very wrong beneath it all. Something for everyone. You must hate the Darkspawn, after what they did to your home. I don't know that I hate them, exactly. It's deeper than that. But yes, after what happened to Bethany... I won't let that go. So I fight. Saving the day at last. Oh, thank you. Good for you. I hope so. Good for someone, anyway. Our hero. Yeah, so shut it. Not so much, but I'm trying. It is said that Tevinter Magisters were responsible for the Darkspawn. I believe it. The chant claims that pride was their greatest sin, and now they have infected the world. Most magisters would consider this a challenge, invent a sin that is greater yet. Yes, yes, magisters are bad, we get it. Another time, gentlemen? I know some ladies who could help them brainstorm.
Does the city guard never ask where you wander off to with Hawk? I am on a special investigation. And what does that make me? Someone who is helping me with my investigation. <laughs> How benevolent of you, Hawk. I'm a giver. Well, we are investigating. Interesting story I heard about you, Isabella. Yes, yes, all right. I just want it known I never asked for the goat, and the fire was accidental. I... that wasn't the story. Oh, this I have to hear. So, Elf, what's this I've been hearing about you and the Ravani? None of your business, dwarf. Just be careful. I get the impression that Isabella's breakups turn into bloodbaths. That's part of the fun. So, these slaves you freed? This again? Such an act seems out of character. Temporary insanity. A bout of foul morality. A horrifying fit of decency. What? I got better. So, when we get back to the city, do you... Not in front of everyone, if you please. And he blushes. <laughs> so cute. How can anything live here? What do the Darkspawn feed on? They don't eat. The taint sustains them. Hmm. Perfect. You must hate the Darkspawn, after what they did to your home. Absolutely. And the magic that brought them to this world. Then we're agreed on something. Magic? Or mages? Depends on the mage, doesn't it? There are exceptions. Occasionally. I'm not sure that's healthy. For mages, definitely not. <laughs> For me or him. Tempered by an understanding that not all mages bear responsibility. Right? Oh, stow it. Yes. Yes. Reason rules over all. A dwarven prison? Dwarves don't do prisons, elf. This is a trash heap. They threw something away here and hoped it wouldn't come back. It seems your blood is special, Hawk. Why am I not surprised? Now this is unexpected. I thought all dwarves did was drink. And Varric not here to respond. He's probably drinking. Hey, now. And lie, yes. Pardon the omission. That's better. Clearly these dwarves are insane. Perhaps even more so than Varric. I heard that. A key tied to your father's blood. If he was a blood mage, you would do well not to make his same mistakes. So, Varric, this spy network of yours... You don't have one, do you? You make it all up. Could be. That or I have an army of elven urchins. And they're all watching. You are a strange, hairy little man. You must hate the Darkspawn, after what they did to your home. I have a lot of hate. But it's not so focused. It's... deeper for a warden. It's been a struggle to let that go. But you have? Let's call it a work in progress. Technically, Tevinta follows the Chantry. But since they broke away from the Divine, the old ways have crept back. The Magisters consider blood magic a sacrifice to power their spells. They figure other, lesser sacrifices can do the same. This is meant for a sacrificial ritual. In ancient Tevinter, they were used to appease the old gods. The Magisters still place such offerings, though they pretend now that they're for Andraste and the Maker. Such superstitions have no place in the Chantry. Which is why Tevinter left. Don't even think about making a sacrifice here, Hawk. Whatever happens, I promise you it won't be good. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... 
Fenris is right. You must hate the Darkspawn, after what they did to your home. They are mindless. What is there to blame? That'd be like Isabella hating the weather for taking her ship. That's an interesting perspective. It's taken a long time to reach it. Thank you. Stupid weather. We passed another broken pillar. You know what that means. Everyone take a drink. The last time we played this game, I kissed an ogre. Please let's not go there again. Didn't the last game end with Isabella getting Orlesian with a lyrium vein? Yep. Carry on, then. Someday I'll visit a place with no ancient evils, horrors, devouring plagues or insanity. Maybe a beach. I can recommend a few if you'd like. Please do. The day you go to the beach would be the day an armada of angry demon pirates show up. When you tell people about our escape from Lothering, why do you make it sound like I had food all over my face? You're larger than life, Hawk. I had to give you a few flaws just to make you approachable. Did you just call me fat? Yes, that's pretty much how I tell it. Hawk rolled into the fray like a gigantic pudding covered in gravy. It's more dramatic that way. I'm not sure about the epicness of this tale. I hope the story ends, and then Hawk backhanded the mouthy dwarf. Ah, uh, does it have to be gravy? Couldn't it be chocolate instead? Ah, everyone's a critic. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. With a name like that, he's bound to go mwahaha at some point, I just know it. And really? More blood? Why can't it ever be spit or, or a lock of hair? You really want to encounter a spit mage? For variety, sure. You worry me. You know that. Oh, shut up. I uh, heard you're being fixed up with one of the Helmy daughters. Thanks, Hawk. I've been trying to forget about that all week. So, not love at first sight? Dusana Helmy is easy on the eyes. Also, she's tried to kill me five times this year. Did she try again during the date? She waited until I paid for dinner. She's in the Merchant Guild, Hawk. So you're not going to see her again? No. Then I might leave town for a while, just to make sure. Being the most eligible bachelor in the Merchant Guild is perilous indeed. I'm going to need more aliases. I'm surprised you agreed to come, Varric. You hate being underground, and you avoid the Carter the same way you do the Merchant Guild. There's no way I'd miss watching you make these motherless nug lickers cry. If you want to punch a few stalagmites on the way there, that's good too. Oh, that's nice. What's so nice about it? I was just wondering what some place sinister and foreboding would look like. And here it is. Ah, why does it always have to be so complicated? Can't Aveline just bash through the wall? Very funny, Varric. Varric, I've heard stories of a personal nature being spread around town. You're the champion of Kirkwall. People pay attention to everything you do. And everyone. And you want me to set the record straight? I'm honored. As it happens, I haven't said a word about you and Blondie. I'd look at that uh, uncle of yours for this particular rumor. I'm right here, you know. Shall I stick my fingers in my ears until you're done? I haven't told anyone about you and that uh, angsty Tevinter elf. Try looking closer to home for that intelligence leak. Angsty to Winter Elf. What can I say? I strive for accuracy. I haven't breathed a word to anyone about you and Daisy. Uh, maybe you'd better have a talk with uh, Uncle Greasy. Gamlin. I'm not spreading any tales about you and the Ravani. Although she asks me every other week to start some. It would make a great new serial. Much better than that guard one you've been writing. If you want your private life to stay uh, private, maybe don't sleep with half of Kirkwall.
All right, tell me. How does it end? Beg your pardon? That guard story of yours, the... The one with a guardsman who falls in love with a Templar Knight captain. Oh, the romance. Swords and shields. I just started that serial. It's got ten chapters to go. Well, yes, but you know how it ends. Just tell me. I've got an idea, but the story... The story will go where it wants to go. The characters drive it, not me. You're the author. That makes no sense at all. A good story you don't really write. It was always there. You just uncover it. Choir boy, what are you doing? Nothing, N nothing. Are you trying to peek at my notes? I've heard some strange rumors about a belt buckle of righteousness. Did you hear the one about how it foretells the future of your pants? Or how it burns its expression into the faces of sinners? The pants one is my favorite. Has more pathos. You've a nickname for everyone. That's true. Ravani. But everyone just calls you Varric. That's hardly fair. Well, it's my story. What? Nothing. Am I in your stories, Varric? Tacy, everyone is fair game for my stories. I never hear any stories with me in them. What sorts of things do I do? Well, you get lost a lot. You wind up in the middle of a dog racing track in Darktown, or in the Viscount's bathing room. So they're true stories. Tacy, I could never make that stuff up. Nobody would believe it. Did you know anything about this car to Varric? Not my crowd. Unsubtle. Kind of fuzzy in their business plan, uh, I assume. You keep secrets and people die. You keep kicking random beehives and you'll get stung. What's that supposed to mean? No keeper, no bees, no honey. I like honey. Damn it, dwarf. Do your stories ever have griffins in them? Uh, kind of tricky because they're extinct. You can work a griffin attack into a tail, but uh, it takes skill. I was thinking more like heroic griffins, the sort that swoop in and save the day. Daisy, haven't you heard? Swooping is bad. I could do heroic charging, though. You want me to call him uh, Feathers? Yes, and make him extra fluffy. We don't have many dwarves in Starkhaven. Is the cart a part of the Merchant's Guild? Are you kidding? <laughs> the cart is only the worst gang of thugs in Orzammar. Their main trades are lyrium smuggling, gambling, and murder for hire. I'm sorry, I didn't know. So, yes, basically just like the Guild. Ancient horrors, renegade wardens. <laughs> I liked it better when it was just the Carta trying to kill us. Keep clear of the flames! Sometimes I hate having short legs! I hope you told Bodan where you were going. If we never come back, maybe someone will send a search party after their champion. This is great! Now I can tell Bartrand you're an experienced Deep Roads explorer. Maybe we should prepare for, I don't know, the end of the world, just in case? Pay attention, Hawk. I really don't want this story to end, and then they all got splattered. I was just thinking, what's missing here? A giant storm, of course. So, does anyone else feel like we're uh, walking into a trap? Just me? Good to know. Why did my ancestors build such bloody high ceilings? Did we want to fit one of them? I spy with my little eye something that is red and socially uncomfortable. No guesses? It starts with A. Shut up. Oh, my mistake. It starts with such a B. Time and a place, Isabella. No games when we're this deep in a mess. Fine. Gone from B to a real C anyway. Isabella. That 
demonstration you put on two nights ago in the Viscount's way. Ah, are you going to arrest me, Captain? No. You did that on purpose, and I will not be baited. Oh, come on. I will also no longer judge you for your... choices. I will make a concerted attempt to be understanding. What? Does this mean you'll no longer call me a whore? As you so rightly pointed out, whores accept gold for services rendered. You do not. But... Poxy tart. <laughs> Had you there. Get his armor off! Really, Isabella? I don't mean that. Stun him. Paralyze him. Watch out. The ground looks treacherous here. Thank you. Hmm. I didn't think you cared. Showing concern for others, Isabella? Tongues will wag. Oh, you can bet they will. I just don't want to see your brains dashed on the ground. That's all. Stop looking at me like that. I shouldn't have said anything. Ugh. I think I stepped in something again. I keep telling you, Kitten, get a pair of proper boots. Like mine. I can't. I just can't. Your boots go on forever. I get so lost in them. I've dropped marbles in. They take an eternity to reach the bottom. That's the reason I've been finding marbles in my boots? Um, no. I'm just rambling. Look! A rock! Why the aversion to bows? A one-armed man named Molly once shot me in the shoulder with a bow. It hurt. Now can we drop this? I don't understand. You could learn to shoot a bow if you tried. <sighs> you have pretty eyes. I suppose the conversation's over then. You don't look very happy down here. I'm a pirate, sweetheart. I belong on the open sea not squished under a thousand tons of rock. It's an adventure. Don't pirates like adventure? Only if they end with a gallon of rum and a new bed to plunder. Well, there's treasure here. Pirates like treasure, right? Uh, and that's just what we use to keep score. <laughs> You're not going to say anything? No. And don't you say anything to him either. I'm right here, you know. What are you going on about? You have a bit of something on your nose there. What? How long's it been there? Oh, now you've gone and ruined it. And you've all been wondering why I don't wear pants. So much less toxic goo to clean off. <sighs> I should have thought of that. It's not like I change my clothes every time I go home, like Hawk does. So now you're the target of batty dwarven assassins? You do attract the strangest types. Yes, like lust-addled pirates. <laughs> oh, touché. You think I ask for this? I'm just making an observation. It does seem that way, doesn't it? I wonder what it is. Perhaps you should bathe more frequently. Do you hope to learn something about your father down here? Haven't thought about it. I just want to get out of here, alive if possible. So long as it doesn't also involve my mother. Some things about your parents should never see the light of day. Of course. I barely remember him. Well... I think your father sounds like someone worth knowing. According to my mother, my father wasn't. Not even for one night. Dwarves are funny. Look at them scurrying away on their stumpy little legs. I heard that. It's cute when you do it. What's wrong with this place? Why don't they have one decent regular lock to pick? No, it's got to be all magic and glowy lights. <laughs> so, no Bartrand. Who do you think's going to betray you this time? If I still had my ship, I'd offer you a berth. 
Anything beats living with Gamlin and crawling round tunnels to make your fortune. Try to do someone a favour and you end up trapped in a gigantic magical prison. There's a lesson here. Next time you ask if I want to help with something, I'm going to say no. <sighs> Is this the perk you get for being champion? <laughs> because if so, I'm not applying for the position. Great. Now I guess we run in circles until he tires? You've been away too long, Junior. Running short of fodder for your stories. Do you know another lovable lug with more sword than sense? I've seen things far more threatening than your verse, my friend. Do your worst. So be it. We shall meet in battle when properly drunk, and safe from darkspawn, blah blah blah. I'll bet the Knight Commander was thrilled one of her Templars was attacked in the gallows. Ecstatic. Did she make you clean up the mess? We hired some dwarves. Proper ones with swabbing beards. Good to know the Paragons have steady work. What's the matter, Junior? Three assassination attempts. You're the center of attention. I thought you'd be happier. They were trying to lure my brother into a trap, that's all. It's a start. Keep at it, and pretty soon, you'll get some thugs of your very own. Lovely. We'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're always fine. The corruption of that man. I've been a warden how long? And I've never seen anything like that. I guess that's why I'm still alive. To stop that. And... Um. Dumb luck. That's the other reason you're alive. <laughs> Credit where due, I suppose. First things first, Warden. Right. You, then everything else. Got it. I don't envy you the job. The attacks that brought me here were almost a welcome diversion. A normal assault with a normal enemy. I should have known, really. Nothing normal about us. Everything lower than Lowtown should just be filled in. A lot of it. Shut up. Yes, yes, too simple for the great machinations of the Elder Hawk. No, really, just shut up. Seems a little harsh. Really? You like chasing people back down their holes? I'd prefer they never came out in the first place. It's not a choice everyone has. So, kill everything lower than your upturned nose. If you don't want rats, you get rid of the colony. And then whatever eats rats has to look your way. Well, let's do nothing then. My mistake. The deep roads again. I suppose I'm lucky. That first trip I could have ended up only six feet down. Ugh. Free marchers bury their dead, right? Or is that the Orlesians? Sometimes I forget what country I'm in. One day we'll take the deep roads. Do what those wardens can't seem to get done. Oh, if they can't make it, doesn't mean I can't. Everyone else's job is easy, is that it? They've had better than a thousand years. If any of this has an end, you'd think they'd get to it. Probably not that simple, but I'd like to see it. Wouldn't we all? Right. Can't be that big of a job. Saving the world. They couldn't make it look harder if they tried. And maybe they are. The deep roads again. Like I don't see enough of that. There's something to be said for a blight. Everything comes up where you can see it. And kill it. I'm a long way from needing money these days. If I wanted to visit the deep roads, I'd join the wardens. They can have their burden. And I'll keep mine. The corruption down here. It's got to stay in this place. We've enough trouble in Kirkwall. Any other helpful advice? Don't piss off the Templar. Is that one obvious too? Is that a Templar talking? Or a hawk? I can be both, you know. A difficult balancing act. Harder than the one mages face. Because you seem to be managing that. Thinking beyond yourself? I'm impressed, Templar. There's more to the order than just corralling apostates. Order. 
not oppression. I'm not sure everyone got that letter. Some days, neither am I. I am glad that a sword of the Chantry has joined us. Right. Keep it to yourself. I'm sorry? You don't understand this life. I didn't. I'm honored to have a warden with us. It's unusual, that's for certain. Yes, I know the restrictions of your sacrifice. I won't presume to understand it. Thank you. Whatever we find, I don't want this getting back to Mother. Keeping secrets, brother. She's worried enough. What good will it do her to know this kind of thing is in our blood? Maybe she knew. Then she kept it to herself for good reason. That Lorias. That's what people become if they are corrupted. A ghoul, yes. Remember the training before Ostagar? That was with dead ones. We never heard them talk. That's never happening to me. Then don't let it. I'll check under your bed when we get home. You do that. Get the laundry while you're at it. Well, make sure that doesn't happen. It's that easy. Oh, well, everything is fine then. Your form's sloppy, Carver. Stiffen up or the dark spawn will take your blade. Right. I'll keep that in mind. And you're angry why? You didn't fare any better than I did last time we faced Darkspawn. If they take your blade, people die. That's not happening again. Stiffen up. Yes, ma'am. You've certainly filled out, Carver. Shame, really. I hear joining the wardens separates the men from their boys. We rarely have children. True. But don't worry. That just means I try ever so much harder. Mmm, I like you all grown up. No, you don't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Junior took down the Ravani? Who's telling this story? Mm, he melted mine. You certainly fill out a skirt, Carver. A shame. I suppose you're all religious and such now. Do you know how long the chant of light is? The stamina it requires. Go on. With passioned breath comes darkness. But with many against her, she finds his light untiring as it parts the veil. Not sure if I'm aroused or scared. I like it. Don't do that to the chant. Shush you. So, Isabella. Oh, Carver. I do love the way you say my name. I... Uh, thank you. Carver, if you stop breathing every time a woman compliments you, you'll never be awake when the fun starts. I'm glad you found a place with the wardens. Well, it's not the city guard, but it'll do. Carver, it wasn't the place for you. No, it's all right. It is. It cost a lot, but I get it. I really was a bit of a tit those days, wasn't I? Well... Make a yes. No shit. I've heard as much. Legendary. Insufferable. Spoiled, annoying, thick-headed, brattish little nitwit of a... Oh, have we stopped? No, you did me a favor. I'm saving cities, not streets. How are those streets, by the way? Safe to walk at night? Still the same old carver. Shut up. So, Meryl, do you have any plans I could interrupt? Probably casting spells at whatever's trying to gnaw through your brother's shins. Strange how many creatures go for the shins. I was thinking more along the lines of the hanged man. Although I suppose the same warning could apply there. What I mean is, or, or, or meant to say is... Well, how do you still muddle me? Interesting. I missed something again, didn't I? That man. And how corrupted he is. Remember that. 
That's what I'm fighting for. Besides my coattail. You're an ass. Best time for it, I'd think. Like, you volunteered. Is that the story now? It is appreciated. You're damn right it is. Then we agree. Well, good. I'll arrange a thanking cue when we're back in Kirkwall. Sure. Make fun of the end of the world. I suppose he won't stop coming after us unless we do this. If you like, we could leave a strongly worded note on his sarcophagus and go. You're so clever. Is something troubling you, brother? I'm not your brother. I'm not familiar with Ferelden tradition, but I married your sister. I believe that makes us brothers. I know what you claim. Chaste vows. Placeholder at best. I'm happy. Play nice with your new brother. If you insist. I do. A chaste marriage. Some invention of yours, no doubt. Carver, please be happy for me. For as long as this is what you want. The day after. That day will not come, I am certain. Aw. Would you feel better if I slept with him? Because I totally would. Right here. Sister, please. Yes, love. Rein it in. You're making a name for yourself in the Templars. And you're earning one as captain. Am I now? Just be careful. The Order would be more than willing to assume more authority for protecting the city. That's not how it works. Not yet. And you've changed yours, Aveline Hendia. You, uh, let me know if you ever need him run out of town or something. <laughs> I will do that, Garver. And you've earned one as captain. Have I? Things the way they are. I wouldn't have anyone else in the position. Or watching out for my brother. Nasty little monsters. How can dwarves stand to live down here? You're asking me? Maybe we don't need Bartran's stupid expedition. There must be something valuable down here. I think that's Legion of the Dead Armor. Met one of them at Ostagar. Only thing they're better at than fighting is drinking. That which is best in me. Father used to say that, didn't he? To you and Bethany. I remember how strict he was with her. Even though we're not in the circle, we can't live outside their rules. She never felt like she could live up to him. I hope they're together, wherever they are. Talking about magic, gossiping about us. I know he would have been proud of her. At least he didn't have to see her die. Is it too much to hope father was secretly a key mage? Because this blood business could get awkward for me. Mother shouldn't have to deal with this. I give her enough to worry about. Hard to call this your fault. Trouble follows our name, I guess. The price of potential. We wardens will eventually save the world. And you? Well, I'm sure you'll amount to something. Trying hard, brother. I don't think you know what I do. Maybe that's best. Oh yes, bonbons and peppermints until I'm absolutely stuffed. All right, I didn't mean it like that. At least you stay close to home. Must be nice. What's that supposed to mean? I... nothing. Nothing. Let's just figure this out. Another mess. Is it terrible that I'm glad Mother isn't around to suffer this? She knew what to expect. I died my way into the Wardens, and you punched your way to Champion. We are esteemed. Go with your strengths, I guess. I'm not sure we can handle much more success. Well deserved, every bit of it. The sides we're on, it's all but guaranteed one of us would be worrying her. If I knew how to fix that, well, it doesn't matter. Let's just get this mess cleaned up. Mother shouldn't have to deal with this. As if you don't give her enough to worry about. You're the one who joined the Templars. 
Given our lineage, she was more upset by you. Says the Templar. A respected order. A position with a future. Even if it's difficult. Never mind. I don't expect you to get it. So, you and Merrill, huh? Merrill and I, yes. Wonderful. Happy for you. What? Even dwarves think they can throw blood magic around now. Oh, well, that's fine then. Blood magic for everyone. I'm worried about Mother. All she does is sit in that rat hole with Gamlin and think about Carver. It's eating her up. How can we help? Brooding won't bring him back. I've tried to get Mother to look for work, or reconnect with some of her childhood friends. But she went to visit the Comte de Lancé once, and now she refuses to try again. She says it's just too pathetic. Well, if she ever left the house, Gamlin would probably steal that, too. I don't think even Gamlin could steal something that already belongs to him. He would try. How do you stand the hanged man? Drink enough, my dear, and standing is the least of your worries. Still in the hanged man? When I can be. I miss you, sweetness. I do too. Well, you save the world, the rest of us will be waiting. Fair enough. They took the books you sent. Non-curricula. And illegal in some countries. No appreciation for the classics. Why read if it's not inspiring? I'm not sure they were even anatomically possible. Dream of a day, sweetness. I... I never really understood what you were saving Wesley from. The old witch said there was no cure. But I assumed he would just... die. It's so much worse, isn't it? Death is better than losing yourself as a ghoul. Wesley knew that. I just keep thinking. What if that had been Carver? I would never have let that happen to him, Bethany. Carver died a hero. Then he'd finally have something real to complain about. It wasn't. Don't borrow trouble. You're right. It just seems like we're always being pulled back toward the Darkspawn. I wonder if we'll ever really be free of them. I'm glad to see you out of the gallows. Not the occasion I would have chosen, but we do what we must. Always? Always. I'm fine, Aveline. Life is what I need it to be. And what you want? I wouldn't always have said so, but yes. So, how are you? Never better, except for the slow death. What should I say? At least it's slow? It's fine, Aveline. I have purpose. Everyone should be so lucky. If you need anything. Wardens want for nothing in this life. But thank you. You're quiet, Bethany. We all should be. We're asking for trouble. Going to the deep roads so we can get coin to go to the deep roads. Need our heads examined is what we need. I'm sure your brother will be careful. Are you sure you mean my brother? You make sense. Are you sure you're a hawk? Sometimes I wonder. That's about enough of that. Good to be out and about, sunshine? It's exciting, I'll say that. How much does someone want me dead to attack me in the gallows? A hawk attracting obsessives with a poor grasp of consequence. Color me stunned. <laughs> be serious. Sorry, I have a reputation to maintain. You're not looking so sunny, sunshine. It's not how I wanted to come back, if I did at all. Now, maybe the old place didn't roll out the welcome, but it's still home, right? I've spent more time as a warden than I did in Kirkwall. It ain't the buildings I'm talking about. It's good to see you. Thank you. Sunshine. What's wrong? Not feeling well? I'm fine, Varric. Just... I expected Templars or blackmail. 
I never thought our home would come under attack. Good. Keep thinking that way. It's got to be nice to think of some place as safe. I'm glad Mother... Well, she didn't need to deal with this. Attacks on both of us. Why couldn't they go after Gamlin? Good taste. Unlikely, given the average shadow dweller. There are enough in your wake for a reasonably representative study. Might not miss him, but I'd still hunt them down for it. <laughs> yes, you've left quite the trail in other matters. I wouldn't wish it even on him. He's earned worse by some measures. Why couldn't they go after Gamlin? Good taste. <laughs> I wish the things waiting in the dark had such a discerning palate. It'd be almost comforting. Understandable, instead of what I've seen. Might not miss him, but I'd still hunt them down for it. Hmm, I know. Can't leave a threat lurking in the dark. I've learned that thrice over. Thanks to this life. You'd still rather be dead. I am dead. It's just taking its time. I'm sorry. I couldn't lose you. And I did anyway. The way of this world, I think. You'd have less to say about it if you were, you know, dead. It's not what I would have chosen this life, but given everything else we've lost. Well, you do this for a few years. You learn not to take second chances for granted. I wouldn't wish it even on him. No, I suppose not. Attack from the dark, no warning. I see enough of that. The Templars sometimes question me about what you do, you know. If they hurt you, I'll make them regret it. Templars don't take threats well. Their solution would be rather drastic, I think. Another reason for me to like them. You had reason to begin with. Can I help stop that? It doesn't matter. They're just questions, and I've stored quite a bewildering weave of answers. You're a cute couple. Do you have pet names? Not your business. That's a little awkward. The Blight's awkward. This is fun. What, like Little Griffin and Baby Dragon? I'm kind of sorry for asking. Interesting. Only if it's true, and I have my answer. Which would you rather have, a baby griffin or a pet dragon? Oh, definitely a griffin. You can't really pet a dragon, can you? They're all scaly. You've thought about this before. I may have left the circle, but I took a vow. My magic will serve that which is best in me, not that which is most base. That's... that's what Father used to teach me. That which is best in me, not that which is most base. Even though we lived outside the circle, he always made me promise to follow its laws. I wish he could be in Kirkwall with us. You know there's no point in wishing for the impossible. Even in the gallows I find strength in that. I miss him so. I know. I miss him too. Simple words to a foolish little girl. Father. Well, he left you that at least. Mother seems happier. A few years distance from all that loss, it's a good thing. She must worry with both of us in a place like this. She was so adamant I not go last time. And look what happened. I'd have gone to the circle eventually. Perhaps not so gently. Better or worse. It is what it is. That corruption. That's what I was saved from. If you call it saved, anyway. I do. And you should, too. I prefer it over the alternative. A much nicer word than dead. You wouldn't have let it go that far, though. You'd have done anything. And I would again. I know. It shouldn't have been necessary. Maybe, but thanks. No worries. Everything is dandy now. Oh, quite. That corruption. I don't think there's any record of it having... 
that effect, but even the threat of it. Anyone normal would choose to die first. I would fight. A warden would know better, but history seems to suggest you'd lose. It's a horrible thought. One we have to deal with in this life. Keep thinking good thoughts. Mother seems happier. A few years distance from all that loss, it's a good thing. I can't imagine she wants to think of us going back to a place like this, though. Then don't tell her. After the fuss that brought us here, she's not stupid. Just be careful when it comes up. We'll be careful. She's heard that before, and so have I. We'll be careful. You'd better. I don't want a repeat of last time. Not that it's possible. I don't want to think of it myself. So these are really the deep roads. I'd read about them, but I'm rather glad I missed out years ago. Yes, I think things worked out for the best. I suppose he won't stop coming after us unless we do this. If you like, we could leave a strongly worded note on his sarcophagus and go. Maybe you can kill him while he's laughing at your jokes. Probably not. So, Sebastian, you're a prince. That is my lot, Lady Hawk. <laughs> this life is not supportive of delicate titles. Purpose is one of the Maker's greatest gifts, although obviously not the only one he has granted you. To have a second chance and one with such purpose, it cannot be a curse. This wasn't my choice. If there's something good or beautiful in any of this, please, enlighten me. Well, there's you. I... Oh my. Phew, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mage. I don't hear Lady very often. You think there's shame in being in the circle? Isn't there? You were made as you are. I've yet to see evidence of the Maker's fallibility. I certainly don't see any in you. You think so? The Templars might not agree. Mmm, choir boy is butter. <laughs> My sister gets Lady a great deal more than I do. You're no less deserving. Bethany? Yes, sister? Back off. Good to have you back with us. Nothing. Just interrupting. Hmm? So, Sebastian, you're a prince. And better, if the maker and the pure love of your sister carry me to it. Right. You're married? Jealous? Oh, just shut it. It was beautiful. I'm sure it was. I'm sorry I missed it. And everything else. I know. Weird, huh? Oh, a little. Just don't screw it up. Once more to the deep roads. <sighs> Once more to the deep roads. I remember when that seemed so daunting, full of promise. We were young and stupid. Let's hope we're not just older. Aren't we trying to raise money to go to the deep roads? Why didn't we just bring Bartrand with us now? I'm starting to think I'd rather stay with Mother when you begin your expedition. Did you hear that? They're after us, for our blood. But why? Crazy people like blood. A lot. How come you never get lost? I do. Sometimes. I've never seen it. And everybody follows you and you always seem to know where you're going. Just act like you know where you're going, that's usually enough. I try that sometimes. But there's no amount of confidence that makes up for walking into the Grand Cleric's airing cupboard. What about that time I led us in circles around the wounded coast for three hours? Oh, I thought you were just admiring the view. Yeah, it was a lovely day at least. You 
must be having so much fun, Aveline. There are more criminals here than I've seen in my life. Not fun, exactly. But it is a bit like a candy shop full of villains. Oh, look at the sweethearts. I want one as a pet. You would. Doesn't anything cute live down here? I am so sorry about the wardrobe. Was it very badly smashed? It's fine, Meryl. How did it break, anyway? What did you do to it, exactly? I had to put it out of its misery. What happened? I didn't expect it to fall over the railing like that. I thought it would be more stable. Fell over the railing? What? I mean, it held up just fine for me. Poor Sandal. It took hours for Bordan to coax him down from the chandelier. On second thought, I don't want to know. What a dreadful place. If I were a darkspawn, I'd plant flowers. Brighten it up. Kitten, any flowers would turn into man-eating petal monsters within the hour. Maybe just a nice still life, then. It's a good thing you're here, Sebastian. No? Oh? Why do you say that? You're so shiny. Much better than a torch. I did swear an oath to carry the light of the Maker wherever I go. Grand Cleric Elthina will be so proud. What do the Dalish teach about the creation of the Darkspawn? I mean, the Chant of Light says it was the hubris of magisters trying to compete with the Maker. But you don't believe in the Chant of Light. Or the Maker. What do you believe? Well, we don't get into many details, but we're pretty sure it's the human's fault. Why do you suppose the carter want to live in a big hole in the ground? Vermin always flock to dark places. Oh, just like rats. I wonder if a lot of breadcrumbs fall down here. I don't think they want to be here. Do you think they fell down here and got stuck? Maybe a good rope ladder would solve this whole carter problem. Oh, it's an up-and-coming neighbourhood. In a few years, all the fashionable families will be down here. I don't think they'd make good neighbours, what with being crazy. The carter, I mean, not the... I'll stop talking now. Are you all right, Meryl? I'm perfectly fine. Why? We're quite deep. I'm told dwarves don't do well when they first come to the surface. I wonder if elves felt similar underground. It's a ceiling. We have ceilings. Right. Right. Mine's on the job, ladies. A lady, you. Really, Aveline? Never you mind. Nice. Now ask if she's afraid of shoes. You shut it. You know a lot of creatures down here aren't very nice. Don't they teach manners underground? Meryl! Is this going to be a new tradition for you, Hawk? Every three years, a little excursion into the deep roads? I've never heard of a dwarf doing blood magic. Do you suppose this Corypheus taught them? But why would they want you in particular? I'm sure the Wardens have a good reason for letting terrible, ancient, dark spawn out. They do, don't they? Is this the thing? The expedition you've been going on about. I thought that was going to involve Varric's family somehow. I have to say, this is a nice break from the Templars giving me the hairy eyeball all the time. Carver, don't you worry. It wasn't and won't be me. Have your fun. Don't look at me. I haven't given her a hairy anything. Not that it's your business. I understand your brother is a Grey Warden. It's a heroic order. You must be proud. If it wasn't for me, he could have done anything he wanted. I never would have wished this on him. My finest moment. Dragging my family into the deep roads to be hopelessly tainted. It was join the Wardens or die. That's nothing to celebrate. Many of us come to our callings by surprise. That doesn't mean you can't be proud. 
I wish my parents could see me now. They always said I had no sense of the dignity of my station, a disgrace to the Vale name. Now here I am, traipsing around the deep roads like a common soldier. I'm sure they'd be proud of you for defending a friend. If you could bring your family back from the dead, that's what you'd want, for them to be disappointed in you. They're dead. Let them go. They must be rolling in their graves. Does it make you think of Ferelden being here? Contrary to Free March's propaganda, there's more to Ferelden than the Blight. It must have been hard leaving your home under such circumstances. Do you ever think of returning? That life is gone, and many good people with it. I carry the memory. That's enough. I have a home here, a family. I treasure for Elden, but... It's a great place to be from. Are there many darkspawn around Starkhaven? No, thankfully. Then Little Grey Warden influence as well. You have an issue with the heroes who stopped the Archdemon? They simply take whatever they need. It's worrying. I'll keep that in mind as I continue to not die of blight. This is why people should burn their dead decently. Not leave them lying around to be possessed by who knows what. An ancient warden prison. This shouldn't be a... I think it's a little personal now, Aveline. I didn't expect you to listen. But be careful. I need to see where this goes. You don't agree? To a point. Dead questions aren't worth the living. I think I'll see how the familial epiphany turns out, thanks. That leads to risk, and you know it. All of this, under Kirkwall. Wonderful. Darkspawn, or Wardens? Hard to say, isn't it? But I can suffer the Wardens. We need to get back to Kirkwall, Hawk. Without me there, the guard won't be able to keep a lid on if it boils over. I thought after Lothering you'd avoid Darkspawn, but you seem to keep coming down here. You'd do better to take a position with the guard like I did. You'll never make your fortune crawling through old caves. Who was the old man in Hawk's house? An uncle, I think. He got out through the back window. Did he have a mouth on him? Who's the boy that was living in Hawk's house? Looked like that Idukan bastard who got lost in the deep roads a while back, didn't he? The one whose mother was an elf, right? I thought she was human. So long since I've been this deep. But I remember. I remember every step taken with the other hawk. You were here with father. The seals are weakening, they said. Malcolm Hawk was chosen. A good man, but an apostate. Yes, I was here with him. The hawk was fascinated by the old construction, always stopping to examine the carvings. A learned man, weeks down here, working together. He never liked me. Too much bad blood. Don't you hate when people run off just as you're starting a conversation? Do you want me to try to catch him next time? I brought restraints. Me too. What are yours for? And there he goes. Should we tie him up next time? Do you suppose he just has a hard time with goodbyes? That's getting very annoying. What are those? Some kind of dwarven war beast? I do not want one of those as a pet. Maker's breath. I never knew the dwarves had tamed such monsters. I can't remember what beasts those are. I've seen them in the deep roads. Whatever those are, I'm glad the carter hasn't brought them into Kirkwall. 
Is it just me, or are those dwarves compensating for something? What are those things? How did the dwarves tame them? Oh, they're just brontos. Shapers created them a long time ago as beasts of burden. Most of them went feral. All oh, right. How do you suppose I get my hands on one of those? Oh, he was asleep. Are we really going to do this? What? Who? Ah! Teach you to sleep on the job. Very poor form, boys. Very poor form. The Darkspawn seem to have improved their weaponry since Ostagar. I think I'll stick to demons and Vart heralds. That was terrifying. Are the Darkspawn breeding their genlocks with elephants now? You didn't have to do that for us, stranger, but I'm sodden glad you did. Did the Carter send you down for something? Sent us to die, most like. I'm going back to the surface. If I wanted to die fighting Darkspawn, I'd have joined the Legion, not the Carta. You won't be able to get back to the surface. Sod that. I'll dig my way out. I've got no interest in being food for Darkspawn. Are you from a different Carta? Not the one that's trying to free Corypheus? Look... The buggers here may have some strange fetish for drinking dark spawn blood, but I'm just in it for the coin. We came for the treasure of Gorathan Shirak, hero of Cal Shirak. If you want, take our map. It's supposed to activate the magic in this place, but all it did was attract dark spawn. I hope it serves you better than it did us. I'm going home. Gorathan Shirak? Really? The card is usually more interested in extorting protection payments, not chasing old legends. Gorathan was king of Cal Rock during the First Blight. Before he died, he hid his wealth away to keep it from his enemies. Half the young bucks in the warrior cast try to make their name by finding where it's buried. I've heard of Gorathan Shirok. Every few years, some pirate crew gets it in their heads to ditch ship and go spelunking. He was some ancient dwarven hero, completely crazy from what they say tried to hide his fortune from the Darkspawn. A treasure map, huh? I wonder what it leads to. If this contains the treasure of Gorath and Shirok, I owe some dead pirates a lot of money. What do you think's inside? Rumor says his cache contains everything from lyrium armor to potions of eternal youth. My favorite rumor was the lyrium-based aphrodisiac, but I suspect that was just how Tyrol got his men to go along. This location is marked on the map. Be careful. I don't know what we'll find here. Huh. <laughs> Magic. I say this map is more likely to lead us into a trap than to treasure. Well, well. X marks the spot. This map is amazing. I wonder who made it. Here I figured they were all as full of shit as the rest of the Carta. There's really something to this treasure map. This looks like one of the doors marked on that map. But what are we supposed to do with it? And now we find out if there's anything here. Or if he just wanted to lead treasure hunters on a merry chase. Who knew? The treasure of bloody Gorath and Chirac. If I were a proper dwarf, I'd be all reverent or something. Huh. What do you know? Looks like the map was accurate. This place is huge. What's it for? And I'm going to regret asking that, aren't I? Back to business. This expedition isn't going to fund itself. Things to do, people to meet. I wonder if anything in Kirkwall blew up while I was gone. I can't go out there. They're looking for me.